Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate lava cake. This is one of those desserts that's really easy to make and it's sure to wow your guests. You can make it for your friends, your family, or that special someone in your life. And it only takes 15 to 20 minutes to make. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so let me start off by telling you the ingredients. First of all, I have about half a stick of butter. I've got two tablespoons of sugar. I have one tablespoon of all-purpose flour, a pinch of salt, some chocolate chips that I'm going to use as needed. I've got about a tablespoon of cast sugar, two eggs. I'm going to use one whole egg and I'm going to take the yolk of the other one. I've got 65 grams of bittersweet chocolate. I'm using a Swiss dark chocolate that's 72% cocoa and then I've also got some strawberries. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to use indirect heat with boiling water in the pan underneath. So while that's going on, I am just going to take the egg and whisk that with the sugar. So one whole egg and one yolk. Now I'm going to add in the flour. I'm going to add a pinch of salt. And now I'm going to take the chocolate mixture and add, add it in here. Now that my batter is ready, I have two ramekins that I applied some room temperature butter to and some cocoa powder in there as well. You can add all-purpose flour if you don't want to use cocoa powder. Let's go ahead and put the batter in there. At this point, I'm going to throw in some of the chocolate chips right in the middle. And using my spoon, I'm going to push them down. Do the same with both of them. My oven's preheated at 450 degrees. I'm now going to place the ramekins in the oven for about 6 minutes. Okay, so the cakes have come out of the oven. That took exactly six minutes. And now I'm just going to let them cool off a little bit. Okay guys, the cake has cooled down just enough for me to handle it. I'm going to take the powdered sugar and just sprinkle it on.
take some strawberries and just put them around. I even have some strawberry ice cream that, that I'm just gonna put on here. Some strawberry ice cream. into our cake and see what's going on inside just look at that cake you guys that's perfect i'm also going to cut the second one so you guys can see it properly look at that you guys there's just one more trick that i have up my sleeves that i'm gonna share with you guys just in case you guys overcook your lava cake and you have friends over or that you're cooking it for somebody else and you think oh my gosh you know this is just a normal cake now um, it's still delicious but you know what let me just show you that one more trick that you could do that makes it fail proof and it's still gonna wow your guests take some chocolate take a balloon melt the chocolate take the balloon and dip it into the chocolate Take a glass and put the balloon right in there. So I just created a design using a fork. This is what the end result looks like. And now I'm just gonna let it cool in the fridge. Okay, now this has had the opportunity to cool down. I'm going to put it on a plate and just using scissors, I'm going to cut the balloon. Using the exact same cake, um, I covered it up with some more powdered sugar, and I'm gonna show you the trick on the same cake. So just take some more of that ice cream that we got. So put the ice cream on top of the cake. We could put the strawberries on top as well. So now I'm just going to cover this with the chocolate bowl that I made, and you would give this to your guests. We could even cover it with some powdered sugar if we like. I made a chocolate sauce. You can of course use a mold to make this. I didn't have a mold on me, therefore I used a balloon. But I made some chocolate sauce. All this has is the leftover chocolate from this and it has a bit of butter and some milk. So when you give this to your guest, you can just hand them over the hot chocolate. This is boiling hot by the way and they can just pour it on top. Okay, you guys, I'll take a bite just for you. Do I have to tell you this is good? You guys, this is so good. Oh my gosh. Give it a try. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you today. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of my future videos. Share this video with your friends and family. Make sure you try it. And if you do, please send me pictures. I'll leave my Instagram and other contact information down in the description below. Like this video and thank you once again. I'll see you later. Bye.